Uh, I, I think it's possible. That's why I think what we should think, because um, that's why we are here. Um, but it's difficult. It's absolutely difficult. Imagine the, the consistency of, of City, but the consistency of, of my boys as well. In the last few years, City became champion three years ago, two years. When was it? Yeah, three years ago. So we were champion two years ago, right? Yeah. So three years ago, City, so one point out of us, oil level millimeters, stuff like this. So we were chasing through the, through the whole year incredibly well. Before the year before that, we were at the Champions League final, but we lost it and all these kind of things. So the consistency the boys show is, is incredible, but that's the only chance you have in a, in a league with probably the best team in the world. Um, it's really tricky <laughs> to be ahead of them. But, and so far at least, we are not... Um, completely out of reach. It's not that we have absolutely no chance anymore, but of course you know that City will not drop a lot of points, so you better don't drop points yourself. What do we have to do better? Um, no, first of all, what we have to do on the absolute top level is defending. That's how it is. That's how you have to do it. That's what gives you the chance for consistency. And on top of that, I really think we, we improved a lot football-wise. We, 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 we play some really good stuff. We are difficult, more difficult to defend than we might maybe were in the past um so there's a bit, we did some good steps will there be enough i have no idea but without being at least as consistent as we have been we have no chance and if you really want to go for a big one we have to be even more consistent and uh, we will see if that's possible or not but we will give it a try thank you paul uh, dom and then chris yeah, um, four years ago today, you um, completed the deal to sign Virgil. It's the, the fourth anniversary of the signing. I was just wondering, um, it's four months since it was come back. How you feel that he's? How do you how do you feel that he's, he's coped with everything? Because you, you've just talked about the players having to be at their edge, and he obviously plays in a position where there's no there's no scope for it, for, for anything else but being on the edge. And have had the injury yourself. How, how have you? Well, the last four months have gone, and how much do you think what more progression do you think he's got to go? Sorry. Your interest as well, right? <laughs> Maddie likes your question. Um, so it makes a change. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably better. So, uh, oh, of course, really good, really good. Long may it continue. Um, yeah, it's it's like it is. Um, obviously, the, the, the rehab. Um, Worked really well, so he came back in a really good in a really good shape. Um, needed some rhythm, but um, very important. Um, he got that rhythm. Um, is now back to his best for sure. Um, and what helps us a lot and helped him a lot is that we have um, options around that he we don't have to push him through in moments when his body is giving a sign. So um, that he needs uh, to step aside for for a moment. Um, that's that's very helpful. And that's why the situation is very good. And, and Virgil's arrival obviously was a was a big day in our in our common history. Um, and it's a good and it's a good example for a for a winter transfer how it how it works. I think a winter transfer works then when you either wanted to sign the player the summer before or the summer after. Anyway, so um, that's the that's the situation. It was the situation we wanted. We wanted Birch obviously in the summer already. Um, for some reasons, we couldn't we couldn't um, do the the transfer. But then in the winter, we we we, we, we tried again and could could get it through. And um, was a very important day. Changed a lot for us uh, because in combination then uh, with Joel, with with Dean and all these kind of things with Joey. Um, we all of a sudden could defend in a different way, um, could make the pitch smaller and all this kind of for the opponent. So that was pretty helpful. And that's why uh, we are really happy. It was exactly today or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly four years ago today. Confirmed. It's confirmed. Cheers <laughs> on that then. Thank you. Thank you, Dom. Let's finish Chris Baskin for the last one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not, not dissimilar actually to Paul's question, but. I was going to ask you if you agree that the team at the moment, the level is pretty much the same as the 2019 and 2020, but you just sort of almost indicated you think it's better in many ways. Is that what you were, a fair assessment what you just said? Or? Not sure it's better, okay. because obviously these seasons are difficult to, to really to top, but what you have to do in football, you have to, to find new ways and extra ways 
you have to to um, to use the things you are good in, and on top on, on, on build on that. So that's pretty much. And I, I think because the team like to stay together um, for a longer time now, even when we lost Genie last year, uh, the majority of the teams stayed together. Um, it helps us in developing these things. Um, that's why when you have a, a core group which play together for a while, um, then you can put in younger players as well, like like we did at the beginning of the season with Harvey, uh, who was absolutely outstanding and massively impressive in that era, in that period. Um, when you bring in Curtis, um, then the, the way he performs is because we are that stable, and of course, it is, is of course his talent. When Tyler is now coming in and these kind of things, then it's possible because the restaurant works well, and that's we are there. So I hope I don't eat my words, but um, we are we, we, we are there more stable than we were in the past. Um, but we have to uh, we have to stay like this at least. That's a minimum. That's a minimum. We have to we have to play flexible football, direct football, creative football. We have to defend rock solid and to. Yeah, to force things as well in in games, like in the last minute, in the last second, um, in in other moments. So we had already like periods in this year when we when we were tuning up and then the, the, the opponent came back and all these kind of things. It's not that you learned that three years ago and you will never miss it again. But we we we, we had the situation this year, and we'll be learned from it. And um, that's what we have to do as well. So the things we don't do right, we have to learn from, and that's what this group always always did. And um, gives some reason at least for for being optimistic but again opponents are incredibly strong um and um even when they're not flying they win the games um occasionally and that's a, that's a situation well to be honest it might be difficult for you to answer but i was thinking as well as one of arguably the greatest liverpool teams it might also be one of the most unlucky to come up against an opponent like man city in this era and i, and I also wonder if there's a little bit of extra hunger there because to have won the title when you did with no fans there, does that, you know, pray to God that there aren't fans going to be allowed in? Is that part of a motivation to, to do it again? Or that motivation yeah. more even? Yeah, it is, but it doesn't mean it will, it will be like this. But most unlucky because of City, I don't see that like this. I think City um, and us, we push each other on, 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 on crazy heights, to be honest. So, like I said, imagine, <laughs> it's a, no, really, if... But imagine we would have won the Champions League final the year before we won it. Imagine we would have won the Champions the, 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 the Premier League the year before we won it, and all these kind of things. It's that then it would be absolutely out crazy what what this group of players achieved. But we didn't win the Champions League final, and we didn't win the league for. You can say it's a point, but for me it was rather eleven millimeter. So um, in the game, I think it was Burnley against City or us against um, against. Um, a city as well, where it was really close. So there's nothing you can do better or whatever. It's just in this moment, in these moments, we were unlucky. So that's the situation. But it doesn't make it make when I think about the team in this in this period, there's no difference between becoming champion, not becoming second in that season, because the the, the performance over the, such a long long um, time was absolutely outrageous and crazy so it's pretty much not possible but the boys did it and didn't stop after that and that's why yes of course uh, we are motivated on the highest level but it's not so much because we we won the league and couldn't celebrate it's like in 10 years 15 years when we look back we won the league so it's not a lot about the party around stuff like this we had a party and after champions league final as yes and we would like to have another party if we win something but obviously life taught us differently so we have to appreciate the moments when we have the people around and not think too much about the moments when we don't have them around just take it like it is win what you can yeah and carry on <laughs>